Hey guys, it's Denise, and this is going to be part two of my worst video ever published onto YouTube. <laughs> um, basically, it was just, if you haven't seen part one, go and watch part one. I end up talking a lot more when I actually show you my plants outside. Um, however, in this part of it, oh, my laundry is back there. In this part, I will be showing you most of the plants outside. So again, I do apologize about the chopping this into two and the stuff in the background for moving and everything basically uh thanks for sticking with me and i hope you enjoy seeing the rest of my plants in the state okay so that single bloom was all the only bloom this plant has put out in a year and it hasn't grown at all it just like in one year no growth just that one bloom so i'm thankful for that um so okay let me just turn you around please ignore all the junk obviously we're gonna have to clean that up really quickly because i'm moving in 11 days <laughs> within 11 days so i can see oh no how did that happen i didn't think oh my goodness i thought it was like impossible for a mother's law like for a sansevieria mother-in-law time to die and that is a very that's okay yay look at this one so pretty oh a little damage there but Oh, these guys are definitely needing more water that's the issue but yes I'll be able to bring that one back nicely um, if this is the for some reason the first time you're watching my channel please stop this video and you know possibly go view some of my other content because this is a hot mess I am well aware of that and unless you like hot messes in which case yeah you found the right girl um, so yeah anyways this Sansevieria is alive still so that's cool um, let's take a look at some of the stuff up here now I'm definitely in view. Oh my goodness, finally. Okay. So we have a tiny, a tiny little, oh, there's right there. That is finally a new growth on my Puntia of Violacea. So um, it kind of looks like crap. Sorry, you guys, a lot of my plants look horrible. Oh my god, another fatality. You see, it's a very need more water. Oh, oh well, I guess they're not technically succulents. So they'd probably be the first ones to not do great um so yeah as i was saying please watch another video this is kind of embarrassing um i had not looked at these plants before coming out here so you're literally getting to experience this with me in real time <laughs> so that is an aloe that is of course very stressed stressed but otherwise looking good see all the dirt everywhere that's because of the non-stop construction that's been going on in front of my apartment it's not ideal um my jade that's my big jade seems to be doing really well just to get really thirsty Ooh, this one has grown a lot the sansevieria and it's alive so props to you sansevieria um i'm not sure if that one is questionable uh yeah that's really pretty so my tricolor jade and oh my god look at all this stuff does anybody else catch these and make wishes on them you gotta make a good one I actually caught one right outside of the house that we ended up getting and I made a wish that we would get that house and we did. So set it free. There it goes. Yay. Okay, back to the uh, plants here. Oh, that is some crazy coloring on my aloe. This is a um, Crashla Hummel Sunset Jade. Um, has a lot of um, mineral deposits on it. Not mealybugs, thankfully. Um, I'm a spider mite type of person. I just keep getting those spider mites, but the mealybugs seem to literally not bother me at all, or my plants, which is great, but I hate spider mites, so, you know. Um, my casteria, wow, was very thin. Um, very alive, though, that's great. <laughs> I've never seen my plants look like this. I was almost, an over I, I bordered on overwatering. Like, I didn't overwater to the point where my plants died, but I was like helicopter mom and be in there like instantly to like water them the second they needed water. So seeing some of my plants this stressed is the first time in my life, like I've never seen this. So I, it's okay though, they can definitely fatten up and they're not dying. Um, my Silver Dollar Jade has grown quite a bit since I remember seeing it last. It has been about two months. I've come out once in those two months. Um, and yeah, so look forward to a video where I explain more of why this happened. Um, what happened and uh, my plans for the future and that sort of thing. That's a really cute arrangement. These are um, the little mini jades, uh, whatever they're called, the little dwarf jades. And I think that one is a hobbit jade, if I remember correctly. I think so, yeah. I think that's what I put in there. 
Okay, so that is this table, and I better hurry up because I can only upload 15 minute videos right now because I do not have a working computer at this moment in time. We got a lovely string of beads here. Also, probably thirsty. This one has fun, it probably still does. It's just not touching it. Okay, so over here, okay, wait, we have my rubber plant, my rubber tree. Um, which is still really alive. Now, I am actually allergic to latex, I found out, so I'm gonna have to be pretty careful with this bleh, bleh, this guy in the future, um, but I, I'm obviously gonna bring him with me because I love him, and then we get to my table. So, special mention goes to these cacti right here, who all of the new growth, as you can see at the top, is absolutely hilarious and hairy and like the best thing ever, so yay! Okay, and then there's this. My bunny ear cactus. Let's make another push. Oh, that one failed. It's okay. I didn't actually wish for anything, so that's okay. Um, this cactus is just, you know, doing its thing. It's very strange looking now. It looks, wow, it's grown a lot. And yeah, the bunny ears. This is going to be definitely the worst video I've ever uploaded onto YouTube, and we have a casualty. That was a butterboard. So I don't even know. I probably shouldn't have put that aside. And this guy, wow, okay. I don't know if that's all just stress or if that's some bugs too. That might be some bugs too. Oh wow. That's a chocolate soldier, Kalankoe, and it has been getting full sun. So if you've ever wondered what that looks like, there you go. Um, very dark, very dark. So here we have some more. This cacti has been in, what is that stuff called? Gritty mix, um, the whole summer. So it has been very dry the whole summer. Okay, I thought it maybe had mealies, but I think it's just the furry stuff. Hey, Mary Salas. This one has grown. Wow, it's like doubled in size. That's amazing. Um, okay, so we have a very stressed out euphorbia here. Now that one had tons of spider mite, and I can tell that it is currently still dealing with those problems. Um, and then you get into all of my, oh. Oh, that makes me sad. What happened here? Oh, okay, it's just stretching towards the light maybe. Okay, all right, still going, still going. Uh-oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, that does not look good. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we have some, oh, we definitely have some casualties, guys. That makes me sad. My moonstones are doing good. Um, it's really been hit and miss. It's weird to see the ones that have done good versus the ones that have suffered. This one I got from Ray and it's doing awesome, apparently. It looks great. Um, then I get into like my arrangements that I made forever ago, but badly, ugh, badly, badly needed to be repotted and that obviously did not happen before I put them outside. Um, so some of them are just really struggling. It's a shame to see, but if you are familiar with succulents, you know that all of these have the potential to look amazing again. They just need a lot of work, a lot of work. And that's absolutely what I'm gonna do as soon as I move. This is the planting with Juliet one. Uh, ooh, yeah. That possibly got overwatered, which is weird. Um, okay. This one looks like it has some sort of an insect problem, or that could be sunburn. I'm not quite sure, but I mean, look at this. That's that's a hot mess. So something's going on. <clears throat> okay. That leaf. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, this one looks really pretty. Okay, so apparently they don't all need water because this one is super watered right now. I think some of them have been getting the rain and some of them have not been. Oh, okay, wow, we're getting top heavy. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh my gosh, now I don't know what, oh. Okay, uh, no. Uh, okay, so you're gonna have to hang out with Lola. Lola's looking beautiful. Yay. So yeah, I think the verdict is it's yeah they need work the verdict is they are mostly still alive i'm probably gonna lose about 10 percent of them maybe um and considering the the complete and utter neglect that they've been through and i hate to say that oh my gosh um i'm just really thankful that they are mostly still alive okay whoa holy that looks completely different Oh my gosh, ooh, first of all, no. But this one, my own, well, what happened to my Ionium? It was, it looked, it was like down here. It looked nothing like that. And now it's all like, wow, it's crazy. 
Okay, it looks freaking different. <laughs> they all do. Um, this was kind of like my Mike Dye section minus that. I do not know how that got put there. Um, yeah, his issues. Uh, oh. Okay. All right, some stuff down there. Um, let's see what. Oh, spider plant. That's sad. Uh, oh, okay. Um. Can you see that? That's some sort of bug problem for sure. Don't, don't know exactly what it is, but I can't even get over there right now, so that's okay. And then I have my weeping jade, which actually looks kind of okay. I see some purple down there. But yeah, oh goodness. Wait, where did, that one looks cool. Pink moonstones, more pink moonstones. Okay, is that, that this is what's having problems. Hmm. Okay, so let me just come down here, and I'm gonna flip you guys around, and I'm gonna end this video here. So I'm gonna have to edit the poop out of this, apparently, even though I was trying to like not edit it at all. Um, yeah, it's like clocking in at like 30 minutes now. So good thing I stopped myself when I did. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that was so depressing seeing all my plants in such a horrible state, um, but yeah definitely check out my other videos if you haven't seen anything before um i will be explaining in the future what happened and why they look like this and why i'm moving and all of that jazz but i'm gonna wait till after i moved i think it's more appropriate to do it then um but yeah if you want to see me bring all these plants back to their former glory definitely subscribe to my channel um if you're so scared by this video i don't blame you if you don't but yeah i hope you guys have a great day month week and the rest of your life i will talk to you soon bye